So today I want to expose you to something that I haven't stopped thinking about since I saw the teaser trailer about a month ago. Uh, we're all pretty mad in the head when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, and there is a game that is currently in development that takes massive inspiration from the Kingdom Hearts series, while still maintaining an identity of its own. It's an indie project that's in the works as of right now that will eventually get a Kickstarter. I'm assuming that the development of this project relies solely on if the Kickstarter is successful, though it is coming from a small Spanish development studio that in the past have been successful with a game release known as Clid the Snail, which made its way to Steam as well as PSN. Visually speaking, Clid the Snail looks fantastic. To think this has come from a small indie project is pretty damn impressive, uh, though the game overall didn't review too great. Though that being said, because this is their first outing into the video game industry, not bad, honestly. The new and upcoming project, though, has my attention, and I am most certainly going to be supporting the Kickstarter. It is known as Dusk Fade. This is practically a platformer-focused, cute and innocent Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, your eyes do not deceive you. That looks like a Keyblade that the main character is holding, even with a very similar animation of holding the key-looking blade over the character's shoulders as he's running through through the environment. The game was only announced two months ago back in February. A Kickstarter is still yet to come, uh, but this looks absolutely fantastic. It's so cool that we're starting to see Kingdom Hearts inspired projects pop up. I've even seen the label of hearts like starting to float around the internet. Now the reason why I say it's a cute and innocent version of Kingdom Hearts is because it's very much more so cartoonish in the ways of its color palette and just the general aesthetic of the game overall. The enemy designs are quite clearly inspired through that of the Heartless. They all look very similar but there are different variants of which. At this part of the trailer there even looks like there is a demon tide inspired enemy. A whole cluster of these enemies all grouped together following the character. Now we don't have too much information about this game other than the one minute teaser trailer, but from the trailer itself we can sort of assume that this game is an action platformer. There is combat here, of course, with the enemies and this keyblade looking weapon. It looks like you have a full combo that you can perform with the weapon with some very cool looking animations with the actual weapon almost transforming as you perform the finisher for the combo. And I even noticed this animation in the combo is so similar to that of one of Sora's aerial attacks from Kingdom Hearts 1. You can really tell that the developers are paying close attention to small details found in Kingdom Hearts to that of what's going on here in Dusk Fate. Now, I wouldn't go into this game expecting that it's going to have a fully fledged Kingdom Hearts combat system. I think that the combat is a flavor that is just simply here, but I don't know if it's going to have heaps of depth. Maybe, who knows, like they do show off combat quite a lot throughout this trailer. It is clearly a flavor that they are trying to harness, but I certainly do think that the platforming side of things is the game's greater focus. We at least know that there is a dodge roll because so there should be in any Kingdom Hearts inspired game and potentially even a parry system. As far as a narrative goes, we can at least take away from the trailer that the weapon that the character wields holds some kind of importance, just as the Keyblade does in Kingdom Hearts. We do see this cinematic right here of two of these weapons sort of floating around, one being what looks like consumed possibly in darkness and the other one maybe in light. So it might be a similar sort of setup like versus darkness, but what we do know is whatever this weapon is holds some kind of importance. I also want to point out another Kingdom Hearts detail here to do with the weapon. Most of you guys should know that when you attack an enemy in Kingdom Hearts, uh, particle effects splurt out and depending on what Keyblade you have, these particle effects look different. It is the same here again in Dusk Fade when you attack enemies, little particle effects splurt out of each hit. The main character as well is very Kingdom Hearts esque. Like, look at this outfit. It just screams Kingdom Hearts. The big yellow shoes, the hoodie, we've got the chains hanging off the end of the Keyblade looking thing, the tassels hanging from the pants. This almost looks like it's come directly from a Kingdom Hearts game. Now, Kingdom Hearts isn't a 3D platformer really by any means. It is strictly an action RPG. While there is light platforming in the worlds from time to time, it's more about smacking and whacking. 
whereas Dusk Fade certainly does have a focus on platforming. This certainly makes it distinct in its own right, and 3D platformers being one of my favorite video game genres of all time, growing up with them left, right, and center, having this inspired Kingdom Hearts concept infused into a 3D platformer for me is definitely a match made in heaven. Looks like there's some great variation here in level design. We've got a village area, a harbor area, forests and plains, and even this interesting looking tower level that's got like a chess theme going on with like floating books. A lot of creativity you can clearly see has been put into this. One detail that certainly made me chuckle and I was like, ha, I recognize that. Again, another Kingdom Hearts thing is the grapple system. Uh, it's very reminiscent of the keychain grappling that we see Sora performing in the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer. Definitely a lot of Kingdom Hearts DNA, and you can tell that this is coming from a group of Kingdom Hearts fans. I'm unsure if this game is going for more of like a mini open world setup with linear levels within that mini open world, or if it really is just linear levels, one stage after another. The teaser trailer gives that impression that it might be a mini open world setup, and even with the way that the trailer ends with the character looking out over a vista, uh, towards some mountains might also insinuate that it is going for a mini open world, big open area style of game. But either way, this project has me incredibly excited. To me, it definitely screams PlayStation 2 platformer era of goodness, which we've seen a lot of in the recent days of gaming, especially with the boom in indie games. With Web Beluga Studio announcing this, I would say that the Kickstarter isn't too far away. I'll be sure to leave both their YouTube channel and Twitter links in the description down below for if you guys want to keep up with what is going on with Dusk Fade, and if you want to support the project when the Kickstarter launches. However, guys, that's all for today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with everything that's going on in this part of the neighborhood. Check out my other social media platforms, and a big thank yous to the Turkey Tastic patrons. I'm Cynical. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day, and we'll talk real soon.